Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to catch you guys up this week on where I'm at. Today, I have been working on booby step two, which is name your fears. And surprisingly, I wrote down more than I had anticipated. So I guess a good word of advice is don't overthink it. I wanted to share with you my top three fears going into this revisionary breast augmentation. So my first one, get my phone out here is going too big. Now this one really surprised me because I didn't think this would make my list of fears at all. Um, I I guess the biggest part of not wanting to go too big is not wanting to look disproportionate on my frame. And I don't want to wake up having implants that are wider than me and totally regret the decision. So. What I should really do is make sure I communicate with my surgeon exactly what I'm wanting and the best thing, I mean, the best thing you could do is just be as transparent as possible because if you're not, then you you could wake up with something that you're not happy with. So definitely be completely open with your surgeon, have an open line of communication because that's gonna help him give you what you're looking for. So that was one of my fears, going too big. Uh, the second one, anesthesia. Oh, so this is probably my number one fear. I don't, I'm not afraid of not waking up. I know a lot of women are afraid of that. My fear comes from when I had my breast reduction when I was 18, I had a hard time, like my blood pressure dropped after the surgery. And you usually wake up within 30 minutes and I stayed under for three hours and my blood pressure kept dropping so they were getting concerned that they might have to transport me to the hospital but I did come out of it um, and I don't remember being nauseous which is fine but the second time for my just breast augmentation I woke up and I was so nauseous and I I remember I was a little bit nauseous the first time but not like the second time, like the whole time I was in recovery, I just kept talking about how nauseous I was and I was gonna throw up and I think they put a, I think it was Finnergan under my tongue. That didn't help. Um, I took two that day. I ended up throwing up on myself as soon as I got into, um, we were out of state for my augmentation, so we were in a hotel. So as soon as I was wheeled into my room, I threw up like right on my lap, so. I don't do so well with anesthesia. Um, I take a long time to either wake up. And I did the second time for my augmentation, I had no problems waking up at all. I probably woke up a little too soon. But yeah, I I hate feeling nauseous and helpless about it. So yeah, anesthesia, top of my list. Um, it's a fear of mine. And the last one, um, oh, not being able to pick up my little girl because you're not supposed to pick up anything heavy for the first three to six weeks. Anything, I think it's over 10 to 15 pounds. Well, my daughter is already 26 pounds and she's 11 months old. So she needs to be picked up, but I'm going to be restricted in being able to do so. So that's going to really suck. Um, I'm having to coordinate my, my augmentation schedule with my parents' schedule so my husband's mom can come and um, watch her for a week. My mom can come and watch her for a week. I mean, at the house here. And trying to work it around my husband's schedule where he could take off a couple of days. So there will be a solid maybe three to four weeks where we will have someone at the house to help. Uh, but that's going to be really hard because she's starting to pull up on stuff. And I know she's going to you know, be crawling up to me and crawling up my pants and going up, up, and I'm not going to be able to pick her up, and it's going to make me really sad. But hopefully, there'll be a way I can work around that. Maybe we can snuggle somehow with like a pillow between us, or I don't know. But that's probably going to be really hard. And it's funny because before I had her, uh, this was a common thing I'd hear, I'd hear women talk about, is worrying about not being able to pick up their kids. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's... It's not such a big deal. But now now that I'm actually in that position and I have a baby, I'm like, oh, it's really hard. I can't imagine not picking her up in a three hour span. <laughs> I mean she naps for two hours, so that's the only that's the longest I don't pick her up. So it's 
that's going to be challenging for me. But yeah, those top three. Anesthesia, top of the list. Picking up my little girl, that's going to be tough. And um, not. I don't want to go too big. Going too big. Like I said, surprised me that it even made my list, but I want to be I want to be smart about it and just make sure that the size that I choose is compatible with my lifestyle. So yeah, that's all I can think of. So I encourage you to write down what your fears are because the more you talk about it, um, the more the the less the less it'll hold you back. So. Yeah, uh, if you want to comment below, just let me know what your fears are. Just get them out there. Get them out in the open. Like, the longer you hold something in, the harder it becomes. So I encourage you just to let me know what your fears are. So I appreciate you guys listening to me, and I look forward to talking to you guys next week. Thanks.